Okay, folks, uh, this is a flyback driver that I recently constructed consisting of a single 2N3055 transistor, a 3 amp uh, 12 volt transformer. And I'm only taking half of that, so I'm taking about 6.3 volts out of it. Um, bridge Vectifier, smoothing capacitor, which is 2200 microfarads at 50 volts. And then I have total resistance of, um, on one side it's 200 ohms, on this side it's 200 ohms, and on that side, total of 20 ohms. And I'm dividing the uh, voltage across those resistors. And um, I'm actually taking the output to this flyback, which I got from a large, it was a 32 inch color TV, I think it was like a Philips, or Pashu, it was a Panasonic uh, TV, and then I isolated the uh, pin that gives me the most amount of, uh, of uh, length of spark and also thickness of spark, and then I basically uh, hot glued all the rest of them, covered them up, and then I've taken the high voltage, I think this is a positive line on that, and then what I was finding when I first when I first tested this out as I was blowing these things, these two and three or five fires were lasting me about maybe five ten seconds and then blowing, and I went through at least two or three of them before I figured out that I needed to protect the transistor from uh, high HF, high voltage uh, kickback from the uh, flyback, and I did this with with some diodes which I can show you here on the back of the circuit. I soldered them in because I was going through so many of these transistors I decided to use a European style connector for the leads on it and uh, so there's the European style connector and then you can see that there's actually a diode between the collector and the emitter position you can see where I've labeled it collector right there. There's the diode between those two. And I've got another diode which goes between the between the the base and the let me see the base and the emitter. So one diode between base and emitter, and another diode between collector and emitter, and this seems to protect it from uh, those high voltage spikes. So, um, and I've kind of put some standoff screws and some, I think this is Lex, I think this is actually polycarbonate plastic, so that, that helps to uh, stand it off a little bit. And here's the setup here, and I'm about to uh, test it out. And what I've done, I've unplugged it just to show you it, and I wanted to accidentally switch on and get zapped. But you can get a significant zap. I believe this uh, flyback has a high voltage rectifier in it, and it's also got a capacitor. So you're getting DC output from this thing. And we'll do some experiments later with that DC output. But anyway, I just wanted to, to uh, demonstrate the actions of this. Um, one more thing, I took the ground lead and put it on this plate and I've made sure that there's no contact between the casing of this transistor, which is the collector, and this and this um, metal uh, piece, this piece of aluminum that I'm using as a heat sink. And I've got a mica pad between that to separate those out. So it's all been tested with a multimeter to make sure there's nothing shorting out uh, in that transistor. So we're going to plug it in. This thing should be performed on a plastic surface. If you try metal, you're likely to get a shock and also to damage the transistor as well. So let's flip this thing on and I'll show you some of the sparks that this thing can make. They're uh, pretty impressive sparks. So here we go. Let me flip the switch. There you go, you can hear it sort of humming.
generate some other ozone. I'm getting at least more than an inch there. Quite negative. A lot of ozone. I think it's good to run it when there's no shorting out. Now this is just to prove that there's a capacitor in it. I'm going to take this and put it right near that and you should see a little spark jump. There it goes. There it goes. You could hear that little click at the end. That's the capacitor. Now let's check this transistor to see how hot this is. And that's just just barely warm. So this uh, aluminum plate is doing its job and it didn't blow the transistor, so that's, that's good. Okay, the next uh, stage, which I'll show you in the next video, will be taking this, this DC high voltage output and using that to uh, do some interesting high voltage experiments. Yeah, before I go on to the next step about uh, how to use the DC voltage out of this for some other experiments, let me just tell you a bit about how I set up this flyback. I didn't use the native primary that comes on the flyback. What I did is I wound my own um, my own uh, primary, which consists of uh, 18 gauge wire, and there's uh, five turns of 18 gauge wire, and then the feedback core is uh, three turns of 22 gauge wire, and that seems to work best. And uh, that, you know, I think you, you can experiment, you know, it may depend on what type of flyback you get, but a good starting point is, uh, w which in this case works, is the uh, five turns of the 18 gauge and the uh, three turns of the 22 gauge wire. So, uh, just as a side note, just wanted to let you know that it would be kind of hard to, probably wouldn't get quite the same voltages if we use the... Um, native uh, primary that's already in this is built into this thing so that's just the native primary's just been capped off okay this is the circuit diagram for the setup and i'm using a radio shack transformer connected to the outlet to get 6.3 volts i'm putting that into a bridge rectifier and then using a smoothing capacitor which is 2200 microfarads and then putting that into the flyback driver the resistors I'm using are shown there, 200 uh, ohms. I think I don't think the value is critical, and these are ceramic resistors that have a fairly high rating for power. The um, direction of the diodes that protect the 2N3055 transistor is shown there. So I've got one across the emitter and the collector in that direction. I've got another one across the base and the emitter is shown there. And then there's the turns ratios on the uh, flyback transformer. That was a pre-round primary and a pre-round um, uh, feedback coil. And I got some great output, as you, as you could see uh, just earlier on. And if you crank that up to 12 volts, it can be even better. You know, I haven't yet tried that, but I'm about to. But 6.3 uh, volts seems to work pretty good. Okay then folks, um, I hope you uh, subscribe to my channels and I'll be um, happy to, uh, you know, to get you involved in some more projects. One of the things I'm planning on doing with this, with this flyback, now that I've got a fairly good output on it, is connecting it to um, my um, Mark 1 Marks generator, which um, I will show you in my next video. Okay, thank you and uh, please subscribe.